It's a battle for funding for higher education. Today, university presidents testified before a House committee to talk about the financial problems the governor's proposed budget cuts could cause for their schools. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner is at the state capitol right now with our top story at 1230. Caitlin. It's evident across the board university presidents say the governor's proposed budget cuts just aren't going to cut it. A House Budget Review Subcommittee on Post-Secondary Education heard this morning how Kentucky colleges will be impacted by Governor Bevin's proposed budget. Each had a slideshow laying out exactly where their funding comes from and how hugely important state allocations are. The University of Louisville and Eastern Kentucky University said state funding is the only source of revenue that is 100% discretionary. A tuition hike seems to be the most troubling for all presidents we heard speak. Each is troubled knowing the financial burden falls on students. And it's, it's a challenge. I mean, Kentucky, unfortunately, is going a different direction from the states that surround us that are actually increasing their support of public higher education. And I believe our greatest asset in Kentucky is human capital. And if you invest in human capital in the form of more opportunities and access to education, we all benefit. So it's a challenge, but uh, we've been around since 1874, and we'll get through this. Uh. There were six university presidents here today, and like I said, they all are saying the same thing. They're just concerned about their students. In Frankfurt, Caitlin Setner, WKYT.